Hello, parents. Very good morning. So we're just waiting for a minute more, wherein uh, more people can join. We'll just start in one minute. Um, hi, parents. Thank you so much for joining this uh, session today. I'm Jaswant Kumar, and I'm the Senior Partnership Manager from Prodigy Math. And I'll be making you uh, go through this uh, presentation today. So without wasting much of time, uh, let's start the presentation. So I represent an organization called Prodigy Math, and uh, our mission is to help every student in the world to love learning, especially in the field of math, because math is considered as a difficult or a boring subject by most of the students. And even for the parents, it is quite difficult um, uh, uh, for to engage the students, especially uh, for mathematics. So we understand this concern and problem very closely. And that's why we have created Prodigy Math. So our journey so far, we have started this company in Canada with uh, around 1,000 schools in the North American region, that is in US and in Canada. Uh, from the right, right from the inception, um, we have understood that there is a huge problem um, in the education sector, especially for mathematics where students are feeling a lot of boredom or difficulty in mathematics. So we try to solve this problem and we have uh, got tremendous response from the students and from the schools. And uh, then we realized that it is not limited to a particular geography. So we started expanding it to other countries as well. So currently we are present in uh, these countries like US, Canada, Australia, and in India, we have started it two years back. And as you can see, till now, there are more than 2,85,000 um, schools which are partnered with Prodigy. And when it comes to the students, more than 8 crore students are already using Prodigy and they are very active on a day-to-day -day basis. And the most interesting fact is more than 70% of the parents are connected and they are also realizing the benefit that the Prodigy uh, provides for the students. So basically, what is Prodigy? So Prodigy is an effective curriculum-lined math practice tool. Um, so generally, uh, a lot of students uh, find it a, a lot difficult in answering the curriculum-based questions because most of the concepts are a little difficult to understand. And in some of the times, uh, they don't feel the motivation to practice. So we are targeting both of these uh, aspects in our tool and it is entirely game-based learning. So the students would enjoy practicing math, I would say for the first time, because um, uh, the way in which the tool has designed the questions is integrated into a game. So the moment the students are using this tool, they feel that they are playing a game, but in the hindsight, they are learning math concepts and not only uh, the concepts which are taught by the teachers in the school, but a lot more concepts uh, which are widely present across the world as well. So that international flavor is also provided for the students to create interest among their young minds. So this particular tool that we provide can be either used via an app where it can be downloaded in uh, the Play Store for Android mobiles or uh, Apple Play Store um, for iOS devices, 
or you can log into the website that is prodigygame.com and uh, you can start using it and regarding the memberships so it engages the child in a more efficient and interesting manner so when you prodigy you'll get a lot more benefits uh, than what uh, you get to a free version <clears throat> so why mathematics so mathematics is traditionally felt as a difficult subject so why is it so uh, more or less most of our daily routines or most of the activities that we do revolve around mathematics so maths is not only an important subject but it is also a essential skill that a child needs to develop over a period of time so uh, so you take it for any other subject um, it is quite relatable that math logic and math concepts is quite crucial to crack any of the exams uh, like uh, uh, when you talk about cat or coding or uh, even uh, when you talk about competitive examinations math is a crucial subject and that's why math is something that the children doesn't like most of the times so that's the reason why we have chosen maths and as i've mentioned so it's a part of the human thought and logic um so the way the children think uh, can also be a lot more boosted uh, in a proper positive fashion if they understand the concepts of uh, mathematics as well and it has a positive impact and it also has a mental discipline which can be uh, inculcated in the minds of the children so that the children can learn maths concepts and uh, it uh, also has this uh, mental rigor so it it also prepares the students to face tough situations and in additional uh, math knowledge um, can be utilized in other subjects too for example uh, for calculating the speed when it comes to the topics of physics or uh, when you calculate the formula in chemistry all of this revolves so math is not just a solitary subject which can be used in a certain way but it can be also utilized in other topics and it is very important as well so one a uh, big problem that most of the students are facing is the math phobia so the difficulty of uh, maths or uh, the uh, the way in which the problems are there some i would say uh, more, most of the students feel it very very uh, discomforting to answer the math questions so why why is that so when you talk about the root problem here um when you take about other subjects like science or english or social uh, sciences there is some aspects where they can easily relate to the uh, their day to day life activities like uh, uh, the experiments they do so it's quite relatable so that they can understand the topics there are images to explain but when it comes to the maths uh, it's all about problems so the children doesn't uh, generally have this kind of uh, an attraction towards solving math problems so that is the core problem that we have catered to and uh, with the help of the game based learning that we have the children not only practice but also enjoy uh, mathematics and the other problem is some of the uh, parents would also pass on their fear because they have uh, got this kind of fear during their childhood they also pass on this to their children so and moreover whenever they talk to another uh, uh, another child or their friends even they give a perception that uh, math requires a lot of um, um, intelligence and uh, math requires a lot of um, um, amazing iq otherwise you cannot uh, solve math problems that is a kind of a false perception that most of the students their peers or uh, the society gives but is not entirely correct so math requires practice rather than intelligence so math is like any other subject the more you practice the more you learn so practicing is the key here and for the child to practice more he should develop that interest towards solving the math questions so coming directly to our platform so what is prodigy and how it is used for different stakeholders of the school uh, that is for students parents and for teachers for students it's a fun math learning experience uh, i would say for the students wherein they would enjoy practicing math questions they would learn the math concepts and these concepts are curriculum aligned and it also builds confidence among the students 
So let's say if uh, a child is answering the uh, questions correctly, after a point of time, the child realizes that, yes, I can also solve math uh, questions. Uh, so that brings in a sense of confidence, uh, which can be percolated to the other subjects as well. And uh, one other aspect is customized and personalized learning that we have uh, started right from our inception, that is in 2013. In fact, we are the uh, one of the first companies in the world to introduce personalized learning. So it's an adaptive platform. Let's say if a child is giving the right answer, the complexity of the questions coming up next would be a little more complex. So in that way, uh, the child would also get that uh, a kind of uh, uh, upgrade in terms of the way in which the questions are answered. But in the similar fashion, if a child is not able to answer the questions, it goes to the prerequisite skill. So in this way, the advantage is nowhere the motivation of the child um, uh, goes down. So whether the child is giving wrong answers or right answers, he is learning something out of it. And there is no stress or pressure which is given on the children's mind. And so that um, they can they can enjoy uh, practicing math. And you also know that children at a very young age, if they can give, uh, if they, if they can be given this assurance that math is not a difficult subject, growing further they can definitely practice and they can do wonders so that is what we strongly believe and for the parents there is a real-time child progress report which is also being shared with you as a, as a parent you can uh, have your uh, daily reports on how your children are doing at your school and there is also a productive use of mobile or tv time so right now parents um, uh, we all know that um, most of you are concerned about the screen time, especially during this uh, lockdown scenario. Um, when you talk about screen time, uh, you always think that, uh, yes, uh, my uh, student shouldn't sit, uh, my child shouldn't sit in front of the system for long hours. That would impact uh, adversely, which is absolutely true. But how many times have you thought about the productivity of the screen time? How many times have you thought that if a work can be done uh, in half an hour instead of two hours. So this is a solution for this. So with prodigies in place, just by spending 30 minutes in a week, a child can answer around 45 to 50 questions, which is not possible by a traditional form of learning. So in this case, uh, the screen time is reduced drastically. At the same time, the productivity of the screen time is increased exponentially as well. And there is another form of learning called teacher guided learning. So whatever the teacher is giving the homework um, can, can be uh, practiced by the students uh, at, the, at their comfort of their home. And the parents can also track the assignments. Uh, so generally nowadays parents, now you are also working from home. So we understand your concern that you're not able to give the 100% um, on your child, whether they're actually listening to the online classes or they're practicing the homeworks, uh, they're completing it or not. But with this interface in place, within few clicks uh, from your mobiles, uh, you can also track how many questions of the assignments have been completed by your children. So that kind of an interface is also provided for you, uh, for the parents. And coming to the teachers, teachers can focus on individual students. So as a parent, generally what you um, a dream uh, about uh, uh, getting your student, uh, getting your child to a school is uh, the school would give an individual focus to my child. So that is something that uh, you really want from a school. And with this platform in place, the teacher can focus on individual students. Customized assignments can be given to students that they are uh, where they are struggling, rather than giving a generalized homework. Even that facility is given for the teachers and special worksheets can also be created. So in that ways, it will create a, a, a very good individual customized plan, uh, which was not um, thought of before. So in this ways, uh, the teachers, the parents and students, it's a win-win situation for all the stakeholders. So let me just show you parents on how to use Prodigy to uh, improve your child's math skills. Um, so let me just show you how, first of all, let me show you uh, the step-by-step -step procedures. So first I'll show you how the teachers can set up the assignments and post that, how students would answer these questions and how the teachers can check the report and guide the students. 
And the fourth step is I'll log in into a parent's account and I'll show you how exactly parents, as a parent, how you can check your child's progress. Uh, before going um, ahead, and there would be a, a question and answer session at the end of the uh, presentation. Um, so I can I can also take up the questions at the end of the presentation. So let me show you how a teacher can set up an assignment. So we provide logins for the teachers. So once they log in with their uh, teacher account, they will be uh, redirected to this uh, teacher interface where they're teaching. They can choose a class. Just click on um, students here. As you can see, you can get all the details about the students of a class. So for creating assignments, you just need to click on create, click on assignment. You can choose the topic, whichever the topic that the teacher is teaching in that particular week. You can select the number of questions, click on next, and you can select all the students in your class or certain students. Just click on the dates, click on create, and that's it. The assignment is uh, created and the questions are already sent to the uh, students. And once they complete, you can also see what type of questions are set up. Uh, by the teacher and teacher can also check the questions uh, that they are given to the students. It is very simple process wherein um, they can uh, understand which type of questions are given to the students and within a minute a teacher can also create an assignment. So when it comes to the students, how they can answer the questions. So this is the username and password that we provide uh, for each and every student. The teachers would uh, send this username and passwords uh, to you parents uh, in the groups so that you can you can understand your username and password of your children. So once you log in, okay. yeah, so once you log in, now it will redirect to this game interface. So this is the virtual uh, character of the student. And so as I've mentioned, it's a complete game-based interface. So here you can see, this particular student character is getting into a battle. So there are many magical creatures here. They will get into a battle. The idea is to defeat this particular magical creature by uh, by casting on spells. So there is a story behind this. So there is a prodigy academy wherein there is a villain uh, who has um, uh, actually stolen some of the keystones uh, from that academy. So as a student, you are the um, uh, main character in this uh, game wherein you have to defeat their um, uh, supporters and uh, you need to get that keystones back. So, and to do that, you need to defeat them. To defeat them, you need to answer the math questions. That's, that's uh, how the storyline is created. So it is quite interesting for the students also. Uh, they have a mission to complete. Uh, so it's a proper uh, game interface. So at the same time, uh, they will also learn math questions. So let me show you how. So once I click on it, immediately a math question appears. So as you can see here, uh, the child needs to answer the questions. Uh, so these are all the questions that are set up by the teachers. And uh, not only this, uh, the students can also click on this uh, green bubbles which are present here. So they can also understand what type of uh, uh, questions can be uh, answered with the help of hints. So there are a lot of other uh, features that are present. Let me show you. So once it is a right answer, as you can see here, the hearts of this particular magical creature has gone down. So the idea is to reduce this hearts to zero. So that's how the game is developed. So immediately a next question would also appear. So again, when you click on it, now you can see this is how the hint bubbles would uh, act. Uh, I'm so sorry. Let me just show that again. Okay. So now you can see when you click on this uh, hint bubble, 
it will also show how to answer this particular question. So hints are also given to the students. So in that way, they can also answer the questions. It's, it's a form of passive learning for the students also. So once the students are uh, co have completed answering the questions, now teachers can check with the help of the assignment report and it's an automated report. So let me show you how it works. So as you can see here, once the student, uh, the teacher selects the particular class and the assignment which the teacher has created. So once the students have completed it, um, as you can see here, for every right answer, it will be marked in green and every wrong answer, it will be marked in red. So for teachers, it is quite easy to check the assignments as well. And as you can see, all the students' performance for each and every question, the right answer, the wrong answer, what is the answer given by the students, all of this information is uh, collected and it is presented to the teachers. It's a very good and uh, uh, very fantastic way to evaluate the students and also understand the students in a deeper fashion. So as a teacher, you'll have a complete control about how uh, the students are doing or performing in a particular skill or a particular topic as well. So this is how the, uh, the teacher would uh, check in the reports. Now, let me um, come out of this and uh, show you uh, a real-time parent account on how the parents can check their reports. So for, uh, for parents, uh, you just need to click on uh, prodigygame.com. So this is our global website. First of all, you can get all the information about a, about a company, about the researches that were done, um, the feedbacks or the awards that internationally that we have received, all of the information is present here. So as a parent, you just need to click on login. So let me log in as a parent. So once I log in as a parent, Now you can see this is your dashboard parents. Now we can see on the right hand side, how many questions have been answered by your child. Um, and on the left hand side, you can also see the goal progress. Let's say uh, you wanted to give a, a goal that in this particular one week, I want my uh, child to answer 40 questions. So that is a goal that you have given. And you can also see the goal progress. So uh, as a parent, you can also take actionable uh, 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 ways in which you can participate in your child's learning progress. And when you go down, you can also see uh, how many uh, uh, assignments have been completed. Uh, the recent activity of your children can also be seen here. So last week or the week before or this particular week. So what are the skills that have been completed by your uh, children? So all of this information is available to you parents. And uh, when you go to the top, homework learning. This is an interesting aspect. Now we can see in this particular week, there is one assignment which is given by the teacher. And the start and end dates were also given. And you can also see the status. So this particular um, uh, assignment has been completed by your child. And he has got 100% as a result. Even that information is available to you. So not only uh, the completion, but also the results is also displayed to you as a parent. And when you go down, you can also see the top, um, uh, you can also see the past uh, uh, assignments that are given. So what is the start and end date, the homework completion of the students, the status, everything can be monitored by a parent uh, remotely here. So this is an additional advantage parents, wherein you don't need to continuously check on the diaries of the students or uh, you don't need to like uh, ask the students whether the homework is given or not. The moment you log in um, uh, at your uh, interface, you'll get all the information here. So that is an advantage. And not only that, you can also see the goal progress. As I've mentioned before, you can edit the goal or click a, a new goal. So you can also give a new goal that in the next maybe uh, 10 days, I want my child to answer 50 questions. Like that, you can set up a new goal uh, report cards can also be generated here. So based on your child's performance. And another thing is curriculum coverage. Now you can see in class one, these are all the skills that, that currently your child has already completed. Uh, these are the uh, skills where he, is, uh, he or she has just started. 
and uh, the skills that have not yet come, uh, started all of this information is present to you on on the right hand side you can also see the uh, game badges so uh, the advantage of uh, this badges is the system rewards the students if the students are completing a certain skill so it is quite uh, interesting and also um, enjoyable for the enjoyable way in which uh, the students would uh, perceive this because they will get a badge when they complete a particular skill so for them they can also boast um, these awards or rewards uh, to the other students saying that i've got three four badges um, uh, how many have you got so in that way it's a positive uh, competitiveness that uh, they develop over a period of time and this is very uh, uh, good to see as well that you have collected so many badges so that gives a sense of uh, um, uh, happiness as well for the students and uh, uh, parents if you have more than one child at your home you can also add them each and every child will have a username and password and uh, you can also access to those um, so the school management uh, would be providing uh, these accounts for you uh, uh, so um, this is this is how you can also manage your uh, children so this is about uh, the parents account uh, uh, parents let me just log out so the next question comes in ki what what should i do as a parent so if you want really want your child to love learning math so we really want to help uh, to that particular cause um, so we are uh, doing this business for the last 8 years across the world having presence in more than 5 different countries uh, so we have been internationally acclaimed um, on developing the skills of the children especially in maths Uh, across the world now we are uh, starting to give this benefits to uh, the indian students as well so we would definitely love to help and uh, grow your child's uh, skill sets in terms of math as well so what are the next steps so the prodigy student login credentials uh, uh, actually have been uh, created and uh, the school uh, will be communicating uh, these uh, login ids uh, with your parents and uh, so the good part about is like if you want to use uh, prodigy uh, related to a student um, and uh, for your uh, for your children when it is linked with the teacher whatever the teacher is creating in the form of assignments or homeworks can be uh, interlinked and you can have a complete status about um, how your child is performing and you can also um, see that how the children how how your children have practiced the math questions and uh, instead of playing any other games they can start using this and learn mathematics so that is another diversion that you can create uh, parents instead of playing other games they can play this and learn maths so that is another advantage uh, so the next steps would be uh, there would be a communication from uh, 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 the teachers regarding the prodigy so we request you at least to give 30 minutes of prodigy time in a week wherein they can uh, practice and the communication again would be coming from the school management from the teachers um, so you can also create a parent uh, account on prodigy so how do you do that it's very simple process um, so the best part is like uh, now you can take a picture or take a screenshot out of it that is the best way uh, it's a simple process wherein you will go to prodigygame.com click on uh, free account tab uh, that you can see here click on parent option and you need to enter your details once you log in it will ask you to add your child option uh, click on my child has already uh, has an account there is an option like that you need to click on it and the child login info which the school would be giving to you you need to enter that so if you follow this process your uh, parent account would be created parents and uh, you can definitely uh, realize the benefits that we provide uh, as a company so this is how you need to uh, create a parent account so coming to the last segment um, so that is uh, a q and a session so if you have any questions uh, uh, parents uh, definitely please uh, ping in the uh, chat section so so that i can uh, take up the questions
So we will wait for uh, a few minutes to answer your questions. So any any questions or any anything any interface or any feature that you want to see or you want to understand more you can just ping in the chat section we'd be taking up those questions um, so there has been a, a question asked uh, how many um, how much of time I understand as how much of time is um, spent by a child for answering one question. Uh, so just to give, um, uh, Rashmi has asked this question. So just to answer your question, um, if a child is spending 30 minutes, around 45 to 50 questions can be uh, answered. So typically in a minute, one to two questions can be easily uh, answered by the students. The next question is, is it free or we have to take membership? So this is something that the school will communicate to you, uh, wherein uh, you will be notified on uh, how to take the memberships, etc. The school will communicate to you. So you don't need to take a separate subscription, uh, um, Deepak Sharma. So we, uh, we, pro we have already given this access to the school. The school would communicate and uh, they would give all the instructions for you. And as I've mentioned before, uh, like we do have a mobile application, you can start downloading the mobile app so that your uh, students can uh, access it from your mobiles uh, itself. So there is, and uh, the other way of doing it is um, having a desktop or a laptop wherein you can just log in and start using it. But if you don't have the access to that, you can give your mobiles, uh, the students can access from mobiles. Um, answering your question, uh, Abhinandan, um, so we do have a mobile app, so you just need to uh, type in Prodigy Math Game and you will get uh, uh, a symbol of P uh, in orange color. So that is a mobile application that we have. It's called Prodigy Math Game and uh, from the uh, laptops or PC also you can just log in. Uh, and one more uh, aspect which I wanted to show you parents um, is uh, the tournaments that we conduct. Um, so this is something which I wanted to show you. So we conduct an inter-school uh, All India uh, competitions um, uh, once in a year. The last year it was conducted in the month of uh, September. Uh, as you can see here, these are the top students, uh, top teachers and top schools. Uh, it's a month long tournament from September 1st to September 30th. Uh, in just 30 days of time, more than 30 lakh 64,000 questions have been answered by the students. On an average, that's more than 1 lakh questions answered each and every day. So that is a kind of uh, engagement that we are able to bring in for the students, especially um, during this lockdown uh, scenario where their, uh, their physical interaction is very less. Uh, they're kind of uh, bugged up with sitting in front of the laptops. So this kind of competitiveness would bring in some positive impacts to their minds and it has clearly showed how it has uh, uh, been effective in creating interest to answer the math questions. And uh, we also gave gifts worth 10 lakhs to the students, like the top uh, students got iPads, Chromebooks and tablets, So, uh, which is quite relevant to the current scenario as well. And as you can see here, uh, we also gave gifts 
to the teachers and the top 125 students also got gift hampers and prodigy goodie bags. So it's a one of a kind of uh, tournament uh, wherein um, we conduct it every year. So uh, it's a month long tournament. So there's an additional engagement activity that we provide on a year on year basis. So we'll just wait for a um, few more minutes if there are any questions and then we can wrap up this session. Um, okay, I guess uh, uh, there are no more questions. So, uh, parents, thank you so much for your time. And I really appreciate um, uh, your time as well to understand our product and to give us an opportunity to ensure that your children are learning the math concepts in a right way and in an enjoyable way. So, thank you so much, uh, parents. Um, have a good day.